Hey everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost. Welcome, welcome. Let's have a fun and papery day today. And I thought I would just look around my old craft room here and use up what I have. And today there's no prototype because I'm actually gonna make this from scratch as we go. Um, and I just thought to myself, what do I have? I have an envelope, it's a fair size envelope. And uh, it really doesn't matter what size envelope you have, but I got this in the mail and I thought I'd use it. And I have some felt that's been sitting around and I thought I'd use it. So I thought it might be kind of fun to make a little, um, uh, a little pouch out of this. Now you can make a lot of things out of this, but today I think I'm just gonna make a little pouch. I'm just gonna move my little computer over there. Okay. And um, so what I thought I would do is take the, this lovely um, felt, the pink is kind of pretty, maybe I'll save that for something, um, but maybe the uh, yellow felt um, is a little bright for me, <laughs> as I know, I know some people like the bright colors. Um, I, um, I like the muted ones better, I think, myself, but you know, it doesn't matter, whatever floats your boat. And um, what's that? You wanna say hi? Well, you're a little dirty scuffer. I'm a dirty scuffer? Hello everybody, I'm a dirty scuffer. I went for several walks and I don't know if you've ever walked a white Maltese before, but when you do, we're like dirt magnets. That's right, we are dirt ma Look at a felt. Look at that really bright, yes, really yellow. But you can see me, look how I show up, yeah. Okay, <laughs> all right, over there. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we could put it in this way, but it'll be a little shy on the corners. So maybe I'm gonna, tuck it in this way and we're just gonna we're just gonna see what happens this is gonna be a free flow crafty day and I'm gonna make a pouch so that I can store some things in it and, and the whole thing behind this is we'll have fun decorating the pouch together how about that so grab your envelope I'll wait no problem just put me on pause I'm not going anywhere and uh, um, here's just some fabric fix I'm gonna glue this flapper down I don't know why because it gives me a straight edge there that's why I like that gives me some security in the straight edge of it all. And uh, now, I wanna pop some felt inside here. Let's see, did I, is that the right way? Let me make sure, nope, nope, that's the way it's supposed to go. Okay, so leave it this way. And let's just put a little fabric fix. This is clear silicone glue, fabric to fabric, fabric to paper, paper to paper. And today's if, um, thing is going to be fabric to paper. So let's see if we can get this in there and I wonder how gluey we're gonna get today doing this. Probably pretty gluey. You know the way it goes around here. Maybe I should put it face up. It might be easier to work. Okay, going in, I'm going in. All right, get in there. Open up the envelope and we shove it in. Yep, the hands are gluey. The hands are gluey. I can confirm the hand is very gluey at this point. Yes, there we go. Are we good? I think so. Looks good. Now. We need a little more this way. We're a little shy. We only we only come down to that. We need some more yellow. Let's come some of this lovely yellow here. All right, well, let's go this way. Comes to here. This isn't, now we're gonna measure without measuring. We need to go there. We need to go down to about here. So let's just cut where we see and hope it fits. This is called the hope it fits maneuver. And if not, we can adjust. That's right. Never get hung up by measuring. Just there's always a way around it. Sometimes you have to measure. I know I get that, but um, most of the time you really don't. <laughs> um, but you can and uh, feel free to have great peace in your measuring. Um, I'm frolicking over here in the non-measuring land. Uh, okay, let's put some glue on this baby and call her a day. And we all of a sudden have this little padded thing. And now this padded thing which I'm gonna make into a pouch. Could also, that could be a cover for a journal. It could make an en padded envelope. That would be pretty too. Maybe I'll jump ship and make a padded envelope instead. That might be fun. Yeah, it could happen on free flow, free flow Saturday. That's right, we just don't know where this is going, but we've got a good skeleton to work with. Okay, we're going in here and we're trying to line it up. No, oh, the hand is so gluey, I can't even tell you. It's probably a better way to do this. And you're going, why don't you just do that? Well, if you thought of that, Congratulations, because too late, the deed is done, the hand is a blue. Okay, but we have a padded envelope. And what I think I'm gonna do, see I really, I kinda like it. Oh, it's got a good feel, you know what I mean? It's got a good feel. Now, I think you could also use other materials in here. I would do something maybe a little bit thicker than muslin. Um, a nice thick t-shirt material would be nice if you have an old t-shirt that's not doing anything. You could definitely do the same thing with that. Um, the felt, I guess, comes in different thicknesses. 
But uh, there we go. So I think what I'm going to do, just to start it off, is I'm going to sew it all the way around to give myself a border because that'll, I don't know why, it just feels like the right thing to do at this moment. We're free flowing it today. Did I mention that? Yeah, here we go. All right, that's the journal I'm still working on. Yes, yes, I haven't forgotten about it. <laughs> I know, I know some of you have asked me, um, that purple journal? Yep, it's still in progress and uh, it got slowed down a little bit by the bundles and the, the sale, but um, it's still on the palette and uh, it's going to have some work done to it very soon. Yes, I haven't forgotten about it. That's why it's right there, so I can still see it. And uh, I got a lot of ideas for journals coming up, so just hang on to your hats. There's things, there are things that are gonna be happening. I do not have my glasses on, I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, here we go. Am I, am I in? I don't know. Get the glasses, Pam. Get the glasses, they're right there. I mean, you have no excuse. They're, they're literally right there. Okay, I'll put them on. Oh, look at that. Oh, you know what? I have another pair on my head. I just found them. Isn't that, that's a, that's funny. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and just sew. I think um, a good zigzag stitch would work well here. That's a number four on this guy. I'm going to widen them out a little bit, maybe to there. And where's some foot pedal? Okay, you ready? We're going to do some rocking and rolling, sewing Pam style. Oh gosh, anything could happen. Hang on. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's fast. All right, let's move a few things out of the way. Journal, you're going to move. <laughs> okay, things are going to happen. Okay, here we go. Probably want to guide it a little, keep it straight so it doesn't all bunch up. Things bunch up on me a lot in the sewing world. And there's probably ways to prevent that. If anybody wants to share a tip or two, feel free. We're all ears. Uh, but I get bunchage. I do. I get bunchage. Yep. It happens. Uh, but, it, but it won't stop me. No, we got to keep going. Keep making stuff. It's our legacy. It's a way to let the world know we were here. It also keeps us busy and off the streets. And you don't get COVID while you're crafting because you're, you know, usually at home by yourself, um, hiding in the craft room or craft area. And it's quiet. Unless you're on a retreat, then gosh knows, you're just a wild and dandy crafter willing to risk everything. But hopefully everything's, I don't know what's going on. I'm just going to stay inside and keep crafting. That's all I know to do. I, don't, I really don't know what else to do other than just keep making things and having fun with you guys. And I don't want to look at the news. <laughs> Every time I turn it on, it's bad news, so I don't want to look anymore. I just want to craft with you guys. All right, here we go. All right. Our world is what we make of it, right? So let's just have fun. The heck with everybody. They're all going to woe is me. No, we're not going to do that. We're just going to have crafty fun together. That's right. Here we go. Okay. Basing down. And what do we have? Wow, we have this. There. Our life is better already because we have a padded thingy. Now, what we can do with this, this can go places. I think, I think that it has a nice crinkly sort of sound and it's got some heft to it. That is the word I've been looking for for about four months. Heft. Yes. A structure. Heft. Uh, rigidity. Form. Substance. Sustenance. Heft. That was the word. Uh, okay. So now I have a couple options here. I could glue my pouch together or I could sew my pouch and I think I'm going to sew it because it's going to give me a little bit more strength. Now if you don't um, if you don't have a sewing machine washi tape would work um, all the way around. You could put washi tape and that would look very pretty but I would recommend running it over across your glue stick across your washi tape first to give yourself a little extra stability and you want to use a good glue stick for that. Because Sometimes washi tape is temporary tape so it will it will not adhere well. Uh, on its own. Okay, here we go. Let me move this back. What? You're not even in the picture. Where, where are you going? Here's, here's the action. There it is right there. Okay, so what was I going to do? Oh yeah, not that. <laughs> okay, I am going to go sew down here. Now this can be a zigzag mess, won't it? Oh well. Well, let's just see what happens. Should we, should we try a different stitch? Why don't we try a different stitch? Let's just see what happens. Let's do a swirly woohoo. I don't know what this one's technically called, but it goes like this like a little like snake. Okay, here we go. Hold your strings. Oh, oh, back on the paper. Back on the paper, Pam. All right, here we go. Here, I have no idea what this is gonna look like. And it's all gonna be okay because we have ways to cover things if it goes all disaster pants. That's right. Now I could 
could, oh, it looks kind of weird. Um, I could just run off and finish, but I think I might just do the bottom. And, oh, okay, maybe. Okay, let's see what's happening. It's going, it's going. I'm just so ever lightly pushing. I, I, I don't know if they're all gonna come out straight. It's gonna look good, it's gonna look crazy. But we're gonna have fun decorating this guy, no matter what. Sometimes you just gotta use what you have, and, and sometimes junk mail is your best friend. Okay, there we got that. Let's turn this way, not bad. I mean, you know, hey, I, I don't look like a, you know, I'm not entering the state county fair with my sewing projects, that's for sure. But, uh, you know, every day is a new opportunity to learn a new skill. And that's what's going down here right now. We are, we're trying a different stitch today. Oh, come on, go back and you're not you're locking. Okay, I'm not gonna fuss with you, don't, don't lock then. He's a little thick, so you can say that and it doesn't insult him. He's a little thick. <laughs> okay, now let's reposition. I hope I don't turn you off by accident. Oh, okay, there we go. All right, so now we have this lovely and we have officially pouched ourselves. Look at that, we got an awesome pouch and we can go places with this baby. So let me grab some stuff and we'll play, hold on. Okay, so I think first I'm gonna work from the back forward. So I'm thinking of my background and then I'm gonna come forward and layer things on top. So obviously I've done some squiggles here to hide addresses. So I'm gonna cover those with something. Oh, actually <laughs> I wrote down something there. Um, it's probably some secret code to something that shouldn't be shown. Um, but anyway, um, uh, I am going to stencil first, and I don't know how much of this is going to show on the end product, but I'm just going to have fun with it because I, I feel like stenciling. So let me find a, any stencil will do. You've got like a thousand of them, Pam. Just pull one for God's sakes. This one? Okay. All right. Yep. Okay, there we go. Now, now this is called Pam Didn't Wash the Mod, uh, not Mod Podge, the um, modeling paste off her stencil. Bad Pam, but Pam has ordered new stencils and I think I reordered this one. And I think I got it on AliExpress for like half the price, if you don't mind waiting 100 years, maybe 200 years now. Um, uh, but I think you can also get them uh, in America faster. Um, but they all, they all come from the same place, who are we kidding? Um, okay, so I'm just gonna go and uh, ink and ink a bit, you know, just have some fun with the colors. And let me pull out, oh, I'm feeling wild and dangerous today. Yep, I'm gonna get the pink, the brown, and the green. And this is Walnut Stain. And this is Worn Lipstick. And this is Peeled Paint. Let's just play with those today. I have one big, I have more than one big paddle brush, but I have one I'm really gonna just use today. So you kinda of wanna work with the, the lightest first or the one you wanna pollute the least first. Look how polluted that is. That's, I've, I've, that's called ink pad pollution, it's happened already. So you really can't hurt this pad, you know what I mean? So I don't I don't feel bad about it. Nope, not feeling bad about it. Okay, here we go. All right, so things can happen pretty quickly when you're stenciling and you're just playing and you're just, there's like, what's to lose here? A piece of felt and, uh, and uh, a, an old envelope? I mean, hey, if this goes horribly wrong, I'm okay with that. All right, so we, we have something starting there. Okay, now like, we're gonna switch colors. Look, this happens fast. Stay tuned, Stay, pay, pay attention. All right, so maybe I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna go right over that with the brown on this guy. Okay, there we go. And here we are. It's been a crazy, you know, um, it has been a crazy day today over here. I have a lot of family out in California and they all got together for Thanksgiving and for 12 of them and five of them now have COVID. So um, we're all very concerned. One of them is 96 and uh, she's in the hospital right now. And I just got word that one of the younger ones is in the hospital, not super young, he's like, you know, my age. He just ended up in the hospital too. So we're a little worried. We're a little, you know, like stuff's going on. All right, so we got that. So we have to craft today, you know what I mean? Um, okay, so let's do some other things. We have this guy, Mr. Secrets. Okay, well just whatever, you know? It's one of those days. Let me craft my way back to sanity. Okay, here we go. <laughs> uh, and I'm sure I'm not alone. I mean, so many people are dealing with this right now that uh, it just makes you really wanna stay inside and craft. Um, I don't wanna go anywhere. 
I'm a big chicken to hurt, I guess. I don't know. Okay, there we go. That's kind of pretty. I like that. Well, maybe I'll give it kind of a greenish border. You know, this is just sort of filling it in. And now we can cover all this, so don't get all your knickers in a twist. And you're like, oh, that's all you're doing is stenciling. No, we can do other things on top. We're layering. Today we're layering and we're going like crunchy, thick, weird. Okay, that's kind of pretty actually. I like that. Um, let's just keep finishing this border. Now we've framed it. We've got this greeny, greeny frame going all the way around. I kind of like that. That's nice. Yeah, and I'm not really trying to hide the fact that this is an envelope. Hello, everybody. This is an envelope. See, I've got the stampy thing right there. And uh, well, we've got the back and we've got to do something with that. Okay. No, it's not to my bank account, so don't worry about it. You, you won't get anything by knowing that. It's all right. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. Um, okay, uh, what else? Could do more of this, make it uniform, or should we do it different? I don't know. Let's just, maybe we'll just keep it uniform. Well, yeah, no, we're going to have to cover this somehow. And this this thing is like the the golden tool for stenciling. It's just so fast. I mean, this it's just very fast. You see? It's just quick. Quickity, quick, quick, quick. You come along and you just do this. You got to go lightly because sometimes you, you ruffle your feathers. You know, like it makes the stencil pieces stand up a little bit, you know what I mean? Because it gets rumpled. Um, so, and I don't think stencils are meant to last forever. I'm sure it said that somewhere on the packaging. Um, these will not last forever with uh, severe stencil abuse, you know, I'm, I'm sure. And it said Pam. <laughs> I'm sure it said Pam. Okay, all right, here we go. There we go. I mean, hey, if everything lasted forever, we'd never buy anything new, right? And what would be the fun of that? No, no, no. Can't have that. All right, so now we pretty much stenciled over the entire thing. Um, and, but I think I'm going to go around the edges with some brown. Just going to wet my brown a little bit. I have a habit of leaving the pads open to dry, but it should, it should have a lot of ink on it because I have recently inked the bejeebers out of it. Yep, I did. That's what he did. That's what she did, did she? She came along and inked the bejeebers. And, uh, you know, when you're inking the bejeebers out of things, you better be having fun. That's all I can say. <laughs> all right. So I hope your, your day is uh, good. I hope that um, you have no aches and no pains and, and everything is right where you left it and things are easy to find. I'm actually like mentally running through my day thinking what I did. You didn't have to fight with anything like a computer or a printer or a phone or anything to get something to work. It all just went smooth as a whistle. And uh, well, I, I just wish that for all of you. My day didn't go quite like that. <laughs> but that's okay because I'm back here in the craft room and all is well. And I'm fine when I'm with you guys. All is well. Okay. There we go. All right. Okay. Now, we look at it and we assess what on earth are we going to do at this point? Well, we'll put our little inkies there. We might get re-inspired to do something with them, but we're going to move on to the next stage. Yes, we are. We are amping it up a little level here. I have some weird things here. I have this, um, we, I think we made this together. I may have done this on a video, but these are micro beads. And I basically put the micro beads down and then I put some Mod Podge all over it. Maybe I put the micro beads in the Mod Podge and then I painted with it. I'm not sure. I don't remember. But this is a regular piece of copy paper with micro beads and Mod Podge. Okay. No, it's not a regular piece of paper. It's a coffee dyed piece of paper. So I thought maybe, because it's got a cool feel. And these things don't come off. They stay where they are in the Mod Podge. So I thought that might be kind of fun to use some of this. Let's see if I can tear it, because the Mod Podge makes it plasticky. So let's see if I can get some off. Okay. I've got some there. All right. Okay, little torn edges, we have torn edges. Okay, now do I wanna ink these edges? I don't know, will they even ink? That's the question. Oh, there's some green down here, that's kind of interesting. It's like a little island, an island of uh, micro beads. That's weird. Um, we could just put that there. Why not, right? Yeah, that kind of looks cool. But maybe we want a little more pop. Okay, well, let's put some of the brown on it and see if we can get it to pop a little bit more. Maybe we could layer something underneath it to make it show up even more. We could do that. Maybe we'll get a little, uh, I'm turning my brown green. Can you see that? There's like a cast. Yeah, that's that's the green going into the brown. Yeah, that's what's happening. Um, okay, okay. Now let's get, um, 
How about some cheesecloth or lace? We have lace, we have cheesecloth. What do we wanna work with? Let's pull it both out and let's just see where we go with this. Okay, here we go. Let's just see what looks better. Got this weird lace. That's kind of pretty. We could do something like that. Make a frilly foo-foo. Or we could go more demure. Well, I don't know if it's cheesecloth is not exactly Catherine Deneuve demure. It's more like, um, well, this is probably gauze from uh, like hospital bandage. So that, that's definitely not Catherine Deneuve demure. This is more hospital. <laughs> I don't know, I got hospital on the brain. Come on, Annie Margaret, pull through. Um, okay, here we go. Let's see what this looks like. Could do that. Doesn't show up that much though, does it? No, we could, I guess we could color it though. Let's try that. Let's just, let's just do a quickie. We're gonna rub this in here. Get some pink on it. Okay, now it looks like I wiped my lipstick on it. Nope, that's not the look I'm going for. I think I'm going to spray a little water on this. Just see what happens. Maybe I can get the ink to spread that way. And it won't look so... Oh, there's like some yellowy green. Oh, it's tanning a pretty color. We got a pretty color going on here. Let's pick up a little bit more. Oh, no, I've got the bloody red in there. Um, squoosh it more. Spread the pink wealth. Okay, see what we got now. Yeah, well, that's... That was, see, it's all nice and pinky colored. All right, let's see how this looks. Maybe this is where we needed to go. Maybe we'll fold it like that. That on there. Hey, that could work. That could work. Yeah, we'll keep it all in contained so it's not crazy. Now the, um, it does look like a bloody bandage, doesn't it? Oh well, that's okay. That's what it's gonna look like. The great thing about Fabrifix is you can work with damp stuff. Yeah, so if you're impatient like me, you just wanna get in there and craft, you can, you can use this with the damp stuff, <laughs> basically, like I just said. Um, yeah, so it's kind of cool because it grabs. Look at that. Done. Love it. No waiting. Okay, it's probably going to cause the paper to warp and everything I know, but it'll dry eventually, and we have to. We can flatten it out under some books or iron it or, you know, ignore it. <laughs> but we're crafting, and that's why it's great. Okay, maybe we want to go like that. I think that is the way. Is that not the way? That is the way, right? Right? I don't know. Here we go. Okay, we have a little layer going on over there. Now, uh, we can continue. Let's see what else we want to do. I have this, um, this pretty gothic writing. It's from a, a, some type of a dictionary. And let's see, maybe we'll put a little of this in. Fright and terror stricken. Yeah, that's a nice thing to put on here, Pam. Why don't you put that on there? Um, okay. And uh, let's maybe ink this up. Just get a little bit. I know, I know, I'm inking. Inking, ink and layer, layer and ink. Here we go, Here we, there. Oh, I kind of like that one there. So here, here it looks in the picture. That's kind of pretty. I think I'll just put that down. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna question it. I'm just gonna do it. Yeah, there we go. We'll see how far this can take us. I don't know. We'll just maybe, we'll just know when we're done. How about that? Yeah. And uh, this has nice texture to it. I wish it. Can I show you closer? Let me. Let you bring, bring you. To me here come to me yeah, okay see that that that's texture yeah that's nice okay but uh you can have as much or as little texture as you like it's your project um what else do we want to put on here what do we have what do we have we have some like broken overcooked crunchies we could put some of that on there because sometimes when you have a broken overcooked crunchy this is a coffee dyed paper that got a little too coffee dyed. I, I, this, I also put, um, that's chalk paint on there. Yeah, that's what that was. You could just put like a piece somewhere. I don't know, maybe maybe on there. You know, I don't know. We can do that. Um, maybe not so much. Maybe a smaller piece. Doop be doop. All right. I don't know. Smaller? Smaller with it. Oh, I know. I've got some layery things. Um... I got some little little things, you know. I don't know what they are, but we, this would be an opportune moment to use these little things. Now I've got some little butterflies I could put on here. Oh, I could put a double butterfly. That would be pretty. This one has two in here for some reason, and uh, I could put. Yeah, he'll show up on there. Okay, let's do that. Let's just do it and see where it goes. What am I going to put in here? You ask. Well, I think it would be fun to hold um, pretty pictures that you like. 
maybe photographs or um, some pictures from books, uh, digi kits. Um, maybe you've got a sticker collection and you need a nice place to store it. Wouldn't it be ha nice to have a nice little um, uh, envelope pouch to, uh, now I'm calling it an envelope pouch. Yes, the name changes fast around here. You never know what you're going to get. Um, but there, I think that's pretty. Okay, let's do that. I think this is a bluish color. Is it blue? I don't know. Um, it's kind of whitey blue, maybe. Um, at least in my eyes. Okay, there we go. Yeah, now we got that going. So we're just kind of building, building, building. You know, that's what we're doing. We're building, building, building. Um, and uh, this is kind of an interesting piece of paper. This <clears throat> was on the bottom of a rusty... Um, cookie sheet. At, on, it was the bottom sheet against the rust and it picked up the rust from the cookie sheet as it was uh, baking and I thought that came out really cool so maybe we could put some of those little rusty spots on there. Yeah that's kind of neat. Let's just get a little piece. Let's get a little piece. Okay. Okay. No, I like, I like the frillies. Maybe not so much. Let me just like a little piece of something. Just, just to fool the eye, just, just hey, yeah. yeah. I think we could do that. Remember, there's something about threes with uh, design. If the eye finds it interesting, so we have basically the gauze, the beaded thing, and the butterfly is three. Okay, don't count the little brown thing under it. That would be four, but that throws my theory. So um, sticking with the threes, <clears throat> we'll just put like a little something, something here like that. To give it the kitty corner feel. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I'm giggling because I'm trying to avoid saying the word juxtaposition because I don't like that word that much. I don't know why it just bugs me. Um, okay, here we go. Weird things, you know, weird things with people. Um, there we go. Yeah, okay. Um, now, maybe we want to do something else there because we need a three, right? So what would be the three? Oh, here we have something. We have some interesting writing about Australia. It's a beautiful <clears throat> bisque colored paper. And, uh, oh, I really, I really, okay. I like the word Australia. Let's, let's use that. And maybe the 404, it's the number here. I, I love the numbers on old book pages. So they're fun to use. And I think well, maybe we could put the word Australia in there. That would look really fabulous. Okay. And let's pink it up, make it look a little different. Yeah, not everything is brown and green. No, some, we have a little, some pink accents in here. Okay, up there. See, that's on the angle and that's the same angle. So, and we don't want to be on the same angle. We want to be on a different angle. So maybe like that would make it better, in my, in my opinion, which counts for nothing. Um, so you know, you do what you would think would look interesting. Um, there's really no right or wrong way to do this, but sometimes if you're rotating the angles, so this piece goes this way, this one goes this way, and this one sort of points down that way, even though there's not words, but that gives the feeling of movement. And in a weird sort of way, it looks like a butterfly. Can you see that flying by? Yeah, look at that. Butterfly, butterfly. Yep, that word again. Mm -hmm. Don't don't think it. Try not to think it. Don't think it. Um, I could put another one over here. Would that be too much? Let me look kind of pretty. I kind of like that. Maybe I could. I could do four and a four and four. Hey, we're good, right? Yeah, maybe. All right, four, four, four. <laughs> look out! Golf ball coming. Four. Okay, here we go. Right there. All right. Let's do that. Green? No, wrong color, Pam. Brown. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, you can also work with three colors and you just kind of keep playing with them over your design and it'll start to unify everything. I like that word. <laughs> Did I mention that? I like that word. Okay. Maybe over darkened him a little bit much. We'll try again. Not so much this time, Pam. We have two tries because he's two-faced. Yes, yeah, sometimes two-faced is a good thing. Yeah. Didn't know that, did you? Okay, you do now. There we go. Okay. I like that. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. And uh, yeah, this is just literally hometown, homegrown goofiness happening here. Hope you're having fun. <laughs> okay, so there we go. We're just making this. 
and we have that, so we're still going to deal with that. But let me put a few more things on here because maybe we need the bumblebee. Hmm? This little, it's just stamped on a piece of um, cotton muslin that I had apparently coffee dyed at some point, and I just, I, w I had some scraps, so I thought, let me just stamp them all with rubber stamps, and I'll, I'll figure out something to do with them on another day, she said to herself. And today is that day. Let's see if you can tear it. No, can't tear it that way. Sometimes you can tear it one way and not the other way. Weft and whatever the other way is. Weft and the other way. Uh, yeah. Sometimes you can tear them both ways. Have you noticed that? It depends on the fabric. I do a lot of tearing, so I don't know what the the official, like there's probably like the, um, you know, there's a certain thing if you should know about, I don't know what it is though. Okay, where are we going to put you? Here, we're going to put more, there. Maybe, no, too much there already. Maybe we're going to have to put you on the back. I'm going to have to start hiding some of this stuff. Okay, so I'm going to put, I'm going to put something down here. And let's see what you could be. Oh, you're kind of pretty. I have this. This is a very pretty paper. It's a very old paper from a drug company. Isbel Drug Company. Paducah, Texas. Where pharmacy is a profession. We thank you. Um, so hi to anybody from Paducah, Texas. If you're, if you're watching, chime in. And just want you to know, I would love to know if that store is still there. I think it's an old store. It feels like very old paper. Um, oh, I didn't, I didn't make a big enough one. Let's go back in there. Okay, let's try that again. Here we go. Got a bigger paper. Mm -hmm. Too big? Okay. Tear this off. Oh, and it's kind of got this nice side, which is more of a matte side. I kind of like that. So let's just come down this way. Okay. I'm just put you right on there. Are we going to ink you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Pink? Sure. All right. Pink it is. Say no more. Say no more. I think we need the little... Spongy. Sometimes when you have the, just when you're trying to do just the edge, it's easier with the little sponge. Flumpers here. Ever. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay. Apparently he wants to play. Okay. No, nope. where's Sunny? I don't know. Where are you, Sunny? Must be hanging out with Dad. Maybe he's over on his couch. He's had. Oh, we had a serious round of play earlier. Oh my gosh. I'm like barely standing because he was so excited, and. Uh, Oh yeah, he was, we were playing like arm enemy, you know, like, like this is like the one to get and he tries to get it and I won't let him get it. And of course he gets it. And, uh, uh, you know, it's like playing with your cat that <laughs> wants to scratch you. He wasn't scratching me. He was like nibbling on me and, uh, you know, sometimes I nibble back, you know, I'm just saying. <laughs> All right. We've got that. I think that's good. That handles that whole issue. Yep. There's no more of that fuss fuss. I'll have to deal with the, the, the black magic marker. It's all handled, easily done. Um, you probably got a black magic marker somewhere, you know, if you have to hide addresses and stuff like that. It, it, it can, it's not that hard to do. No. Okay. There we go. We have that. And let's do something here. I do have this pink paper, and I think this is kind of pretty. It's not exactly the same pink, but, you know, come what may. Let's see what we got. Is that good? Is it? Okay, so let's see if it fits. Did I short myself? Maybe. Oh, not bad. Not bad. Okay, I think I can make it. So I think brown might be best to ink this guy. And this, you know, inking is optional. And, uh, but yeah, this has been um, um, a very interesting day in our household. Lots of news coming from everywhere. And I'm hoping everybody is, is okay. Yeah. All right, here we go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think we can figure this out. I'll figure out the best spot for it. Oh, you know, I just saw, I just, my little eye spied some Bow Bunny gold glitter glue paste stuff. Yeah, let me, let me pull that baby out. Of, I need to use up that bottle. Okay, did I put it on the right way? That's not bad. I mean, you wouldn't say, hey, look at that little black thing there. No, because you can barely see that thing. You know, see you to see it? There it is. Uh, but I don't think it's very um, intrusive. So let's, let's put some more things on it. Where was that bee? Where'd the bee go? Hello bee. Does, does this happen to anybody else but me? This happens like every day, every second, it seems to be happening. Okay, if I can't find the bee, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make something out of these scraps. Yes, yes I am, yes, yes. How about that? Yeah, I could do that, that's kinda cute. All right, so let's do that. Let me get a stapler, hang on. 
I'm right here. I have not left the building. No, nope, I am right here. I just had to turn around. It's still in my orbit. I didn't have to go far. This is a tiny stapler by Tim Holtz. It's just got a tiny staple, which makes it nice for crafting. Um, and I'm just going to stick that there. Then I'll put something in the center of it to give it some pizzazz. Yeah. And let's put some glue down. This is the old fabric to paper, so that makes it easy with the fabric fix. Um, other glues, wet, wet, white glue would work here too. Um, so use what you got. Yep. And, um, hmm. Anyway, maybe I could do something like that. Oh, that would be very wild, but no, that'll be too lumpy. I want it to be easy to, there's the bee. Now I find the bee, right? Find the bee. Okay, maybe I can put it here now. It would just put you up there. Maybe I need to nest you on a little piece of white, um, hospital gauze. Yes, I've got the hospital gauze going on here. All righty then. Here we go. Hospital gauze for you. Bring in the hospital gauze, please. I feel like Monty Python. <laughs> Where's the hospital gauze? Oh, now we have good quality hospital gauze here. You're going to be just fine. Don't worry. You get your COVID shot, your ivermectin, your Regeneron, and your hydrochloroquine, and you'll be fine as long as you got the hospital gauze. <laughs> yep, I've lost it. <laughs> She's gone. <laughs> All right, there we go. Mm -hmm. All right, so we need to, I think, liven that border up a little bit because I seem to have lost the distinction. So we're going to bring back the distinction. Okay. Now, this is going to be a problem because I'm going to come out with these guns. You know what I mean? I got these guns. Nouveau drops, not unlike liquid pearls, not unlike stickles, and not unlike, um, you know, any of that other stuff that's like that. But, oh, here. This is what I found. The Bow Bunny Glitter Paste. found this in Tuesday morning. Yeah, that was a while ago, so let's see if it's still good. I think I used it the other day. Oh, I think it's getting a little hard. It's like, it's thick. It's thick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um... Let's just do a little glitter on here. It's it's sticky, so it should stay where it is. So we're not going to over glitter or anything. No, we would never do that. Oh. But maybe just some random, you know? I got to use this stuff up. Who are we kidding? And, and and this is the good time of year, so it's okay. Oh, I know what I want to do. Um, I want to border this baby. That's right. Bordering the bee. Can you see? No. No. Everything's too dark. Let me see. Come closer. Be with me. Here we go. We're going over the B. Here we go. I'm going to, I hope this, this is going to work. I was just going to give them a little uh, border and white down up. This is old, yeah, this old stuff, so it's kind of gooey. But it's going to be a little tricky to decorate the other side now, Pam, because you've got this wet stuff. What are you going to do? Oh, no, I think I goofed it. Well, yeah, see, what am I doing? Where, where am I going? That is not the down up. Did, did I not teach you how to do the down up? Yes. But my Nuvo drops are getting old. They're probably 10 years old. I don't know. They're not that old. Maybe maybe five. <laughs> but um, they still work. Yeah, I, guess, I think it's good. And they, they give you like a little droplet-like thing. So, And they don't take as long to dry as the stickles. They take forever. So there we go. We got a little border there. Now let's back you up. Okay? You, yeah, that was right, Pam. That was right. That's the right way. It's a little weird learning this new phone. Okay, so now maybe some more of this. And just use it up. Okay. I, mean, I feel like I need some more layering on here. I'm like, I'm shy with layering. Why am I shy? Go for it. Just put it on there. What are you doing? You're right. I should just do it. Okay. Here. Use this. Okay. I'm using this. This is kind of cool. It's a neat piece. And I need something kind of long just to go over that number. Like that, there. And now I'm going to kind of build it and, 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 oh, okay, there's some more, um, am I whispering? Maybe I'm whispering too much. Stop whispering. Speak up. Speak up, Missy. Nobody can hear you. Okay, I'm talking louder to myself, apparently. Sunny, save me so I don't look like I'm talking to myself. No, I'm not talking to myself. I'm talking with you guys. That's right. Makes it all normal. <laughs> oh, okay. Here we go gonna glue her down and I think we just need to get a lot more brave here I'm, I'm playing softy pants here let's just get a lot more brave yeah all right there well that was a risk wasn't it you boy you just know how to take them when you take them missy look at you going hog wild okay I have this this is pretty this is some handmade paper that I made a long time ago and it's in the pink family 
So we could do something. About that. I love this this imprint of the fern. Isn't that cool? That's really cool. And then that pretty flower there. I don't know what's going to stick if I pop it off here. Let's see what happens. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I like that. Let's do that. All right. Um, I do. I want to ink it at the top, just at the top. Okay, I'll go outside. Holly, Holly, my bird's telling me to go outside. <laughs> I think he's uh, used to uh, uh, us taking Sunny for a walk in the morning. Time to go outside. Let's go outside. And uh, he does pick up little catchphrases that we say. So any of you who have a talking bird, you kind of probably know that. Um, that's what they do. That's what they do. Okay. Yeah, I think I, they're right there. Perfect. All right. Get the serious fabric fix of it all. Yeah. I'm going to glue this baby down. You're not going anywhere. No, you're not. You're going to stay right where we put you. Mm-hmm. That's right. There we go. And you're down. Good. Now, do we want to, maybe we want to put some sparkles on him, huh? Good. Let's see what happens. I don't know if this is even a stickability anymore. Okay. Just a little on here. I'm trying to, I don't know if this is working, but I think it's going to be pretty because pretty much when you put glitter on anything, it looks good. Um, so there we go. There's a little bit on the fern part. Can you see that? Can you see the glitter? It's glittering. It's pretty. Okay. Um, um, where's the lid? Don't move. Find lid. Found it. Okay. Got it. And now oh, I was going to put something on here. So let me get a little something. Okay, here's my little bowl of somethings. I'm going to put that on there. Maybe nothing too super bumpy. Um, okay, how about, well, this is sort of super bumpy, but it would look nice. Uh, okay, how about this? What are you? You're like a clear one. Is that a good one? For here? Let's put some glue on it. It's a little flatter than the, the other one, but I like the other one better. It's prettier. All right, let's put the other one on because I'm not writing on this, so it can be bumpy. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. There, I just talked myself into it's okay. This is the one I really wanted to use. It's a kind of like a pinky, pearly, flatback pearl, and I just thought that would look really pretty right there. So I'm going to do that. Okay, but maybe I want to build that flower up a little bit more drama. You know, I need a little more drama. Where's the drama? Can we use these leaves for more drama? Oh, we could. Or the leaves. This is not a leaf fan. This is a book page. What has, where are you going with your thoughts, ma'am? Okay, maybe a little base. That would be cute. Okay, let's try that. Give me a little fabric fix. Here we go. Da, 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 da. Where we stop, nobody knows. Okay, we've got that. And then we're going to do this. we got that. Just do a little crisscross. Whoop, look, came off on the finger. That happens. And I'm going to finish it with this guy. Yeah, let's do that. Here we go. Yep. Got to use up these little bits and bops that we've been collecting. Yep, that's the season. All right, get down there. Get off the finger. It's stuck to my finger. Oh, God. Now I've got, I've got glitter on it. I think it's pretty. That's pretty, right? Yeah, okay. Um, all right, so we have that. So now how am I going to do the other side? I don't know. It was like something going wrong with all this. I could, oh, I can, oh, I can wipe that one away. I wiped, I'm just going to start over. I could still wipe these away and do it again. How about that? That was pretty cool. I'm trying to get you closer, but it doesn't like when I have ink, uh, glue on my fingers. Um, okay, here, I'm just going to re-down up, down up, whoop, down up, down up, down up, and down up. So yeah, there is a little um, wiggle room time there where you can go in there and fix it. <laughs> okay, let's back up again. Going away. Yes, going away. <laughs> Holly's a chatter pants tonight. Okay, so I need I need more stuff. What, what do I got? Let's see. Here's some words and stuff that I punched out. What do I got? Oh, this is pretty. It's a pretty little notepad. Isn't that pretty? That's yeah, really pretty. Um, let's see. Maybe some like magic happens. Something like oh, I like that. Magic happens. Okay, maybe we'll put you. We'll build up a threesy there. That's kind of nice. Like right there. That's one of those threesies I was talking about, you know, and they just, this is brown. And you just keep, keep going, keep layering this thing. Just keep layering it up and see what happens. And um, I'm probably going to use a fabric fix because it's going to go on a couple rough edges. I really need this guy to stick because he's going to have some 
Yeah, I'm going on the angle. So that one went this way, this one's going this way, and then there's that intersection. So we have three angular things happening there. So the intersection is kind of fun. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, is that enough? We could keep going, but let's, let's, I want to do the other side. Let me look at the other side. Oh, that's really, well, we are kind of already did the other side. Well, maybe we, we can call this down. We have the beads. And I could probably do some more sticklage on this side, but let's, let's just take a peek inside. But the feel of this thing is very nice because it has some heft to it. Okay, you have to glue down, so I can't be bending it all open and, and stuff initially. I have to wait for things to dry, Pam, you know. Uh, glue must dry. Paint must dry. Modeling paste must dry. But look at all the... you got places to go and things to stick in there. All right, so we have this and we have this. I wish you could feel it because it really has a cool feel because um, it has a squish factor and a crinkle factor, which is really kind of fun and neat. And uh, it's just an awesome thing. So if you're just playing with your junk mail and your felt or your junk mail and a t-shirt, you got places to go. Yeah. So have some fun today. Make sure you make a good day out of it. Ha enjoy your family and your friends and cuddle your pets. And um, if you're looking for more videos, uh, I, my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. Podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays, all audio. And I'm going to salt and pepper in some um, video podcasts here and there. But if you want to see the traditional, only audio, not always new stuff, Tuesday and Thursday is your best bet for those. And... Um, uh, I have um, uh, a Facebook group. Come and join our Facebook group. We're having a lot of fun over there doing weekly and monthly challenges. And I love to see what you guys make from these videos. And also I have a free monthly email newsletter where you get a free digital image emailed to you every month. So this is December. So, um, and I, I like to give you one image, but give you different sizes of it. So you can have, you can play with it and have some fun. And, um, uh, you're going to get updates from me, junk journal tips, note from the bookmaker, checklist of supplies, all sorts of fun things that come in the newsletter. So uh, there you go. Um, I have an Etsy shop where I have vintage uh, digi kits, which are printable, downloadable images. They come in packs of five pages that you print and download at home, and they're themed like Victorian and nature and all sorts of fun stuff. And there's over 130 to pick from. And if you don't have a printer, I have a print and mail service where I will print and mail them to you. If you send me a list of 10 names of digi kits to pam at the paper outpost.com, my email, or you can send it through Etsy message to send me the list and buy the um, print and mail option. And I will print those and mail those out to you. Um, also, you can find me, um, oh, and if you don't want to be bothered looking for all the names, you can just say surprise me. Or if you have certain categories, like I like birds and I like Victorian. Can you make a, a nice combination for me? I can do that too. That's not a problem. And uh, I only need the first or, uh, one to two or sometimes three words of the uh, title of a name if you're going to give me the title. So you don't have to give me the whole long title. Just give me the first two or three words. That'll work fine. Um, you can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. I have a new merchandise store. Um, if you're looking at the PC, I think the merchandise shelf is visible in the description box below. Uh, but if not, there's also going to be a, uh, this makes no sense, but there's also going to be a link down there in the description box below, which is not visible pretty much anywhere else. Um, where you, if you want to see the whole shop, there's going to be more things in there and more things added with time. And... Um, uh, if you, uh, all my links are, guess what, in the description box down below. <laughs> and uh, uh, if you find value here or you had some fun, please like, subscribe, and share, and click the bell. And then um, uh, remember, always, always remember where you put your dog, because I cannot find sunshine at the moment. So I will say for both of us, to all of you, um, fun can be simple. And create with reckless abandon, everybody. Have fun with your papers. Take care, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.